Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Your old buddy Tim back scoping out houses again. I've got uh, two potential flip houses to look at today, either for uh, myself or my investors, and I thought I would bring you along for the ride. Let me adjust my tripod or my uh, stick there. So um, this is another um, estate house um, off market. I was contacted by a family of uh, the former owner and so we're going to take a look now. We're going to decide, uh, do we uh, want to look at flipping it or do we want to uh, refer it out to one of my investors? Um, honestly, probably going to be the latter because I just took on the hoarder house, another hoarder house that I'm going to be doing. But uh, anyway, I'll give you a tour of this one. Get your opinion on what should be done and we will we will go from there. So uh, South Huntsville in a cul-de-sac, nice brick home. Uh, as it sits right now, it is a three-bedroom, two-bath, but as you're going to see as we walk through, there's a lot of potential to open this house up and do something different. So uh, I will bring you in through uh, the front door, nice uh, storm door here. So as you walk in, you've got a small foyer, and you got to remember this house was built back when they loved their walls and their wallpaper. So as you come in, you've got a wall immediately here, you've got a wall immediately here, there's a closet back here, all right? And so as we go here, there is the living room, dining room area. This house has the original hardwoods that are in amazing condition. They do need to be refinished, but they're just in great shape. So um, big room, this house was also built uh, before the advent of popcorn. So that is an added bonus because we don't have to scrape the popcorn off the ceiling. Uh, popcorn removal can be expensive, it can be uh, gosh, $2 or so uh, a square foot. So if you've got a 2,000 square foot house and you're scraping popcorn, it's going to really add up. But So we've got, uh, again, walls here that separate what will be the family room and the kitchen. I'll show you that in a second. But a large area here, the old curtains, the old valances. Um, but a, uh, a big area here, the dining room would be here. All right, and I'll turn you around and give you a look from the other direction. Still a lot of stuff in here. The The last time I walked through this house, it was literally full of stuff. You could barely walk through, but uh, the family has done a fantastic job of getting most of it out, and this all will be gone um, before we uh, we do anything on it. So, all right, so again, front door, living room, dining room. We go through, here is the kitchen. And of course, you know, if you're going to remodel this house, you're going to take these cabinets out. You're going to replace them. Some people would only replace the, uh, the doors. Uh, that makes Chelsea McKinney just uh, dry heave when we talk about replacing doors. But this is a great space. Again, you've got the kitchen, fridge here, cabinets, cabinets. And then fireplace, that would have been a little den area there. So just going off the top of my head, if we were going to redo this house this wall would probably go away. Uh, that one might go away. I've got different ideas for this room I'll share with you in a second. So we won't be tearing that wall out quite yet. But if we did from this angle, if we came in and took out, number one, took out this, this wall here. And again, you might do headers, depends on if it's load bearing, but that would open it up to the front door. And then we may take this out May not, I'll explain that in a minute, but we would definitely open this up to the kitchen. So you would walk in, you would have a living area, dining area, open kitchen concept, which is all of the rage now. It's really funny how things change because again, when this house was built, uh, a number of rooms was important. There was no such thing as that open concept. People thought you were crazy if you had an open concept. So, all right, so again, kitchen, that right now is the den. I've got some ideas for that. I'll share with you in just a second. Um, then there was this. This is the, I assume it was the old garage maybe because the, uh, the driveway does lead up to this. So maybe at one time this was closed in. It does have popcorn, which uh, means that this was added on later, but uh, humongous space. Of course, carpet would go, paint, flooring, blah, blah, blah but a really big space. Uh, I assume there used to be probably a wood, wood burning stove or something there. So that would go away. Um, what I would do is I would turn this 
into a huge master suite. Because as you'll see in just a second, the actual master now is very is small. Uh, the bathroom is small. But you could come out here, tear all this out, make it a master. There's plenty of room over here to do a closet and an ensuite. If we go here, it just steps down and out to the back patio, right? So we've got space in here that we could, re we could use. So we could very easily turn this into a really large master suite. Plumbing is close by, that wouldn't be an issue. This of course would go, um, but a really big space that was being used, I would assume as a, like a den, um, I would convert this to a uh, master suite, is what I would do, if I was doing this house. All right, so let's go on the other end and I'll totally tell you what we're thinking here. I'm going back through the kitchen, this is the old den, very dark. A lot of these houses were very dark. They had the dark paneling, no windows. They added this on at some point. This used to be the back door, uh, but they have come in and added, uh, I guess it's like a Florida room. It is not heated and cooled other than with that. But imagine if these windows were replaced and we create like a sunroom out here that would actually overlook the backyard. That could be really, really nice. Now, another cool thing is this is on a huge lot. It's got a really great outdoor space. So if we did turn this into uh, a sunroom or a California room, it'd be really easy to heat and cool. There's the attic access there. So uh, that's what I would do with this, maybe. Now let's talk about this den. Okay, on the other side of this wall is the living room, dining room. Okay, this house as it sits is a three bedroom. If we were going to Airbnb this, we would want more bedrooms. So how about this? One of the options here is we wall this off, we tear out the fireplace and reclaim about, you know, what, five by three there, turn this into another bedroom. It's already got a closet, okay? Um, granted, it's got this access here, but that could be doable. So just a thought, uh, if we were going to add uh, bedrooms, we could repurpose this space again. This wall would stay, but all this is gonna be opened up anyway. So the other alternative is just to open all of this up from the front room and just make this all one giant living area, or we could reconfigure the kitchen. Uh, if that space was not large enough, we could bring the kitchen all the way out to here and do something completely different if we wanted to. Um, it's one of the nice things about this house, the bones of the house are very good. And so we have lots of options when it comes to what we can do in a house like this. So we're gonna walk back through now. The old furniture always cracks me up. The hoarder house that we're gonna do has some really old furniture in it that uh, was very interesting. Okay, so we're going back down the foyer. This is where we just came from. All right, so we have a hallway, and down this hallway, we have three large bedrooms and a bathroom. I want to show you something really funky. Let me see if there's a, a light in here, and the light is working somewhat. Okay, I want you to look at this vanity. Do you notice anything odd about this vanity? Hmm. Look at the, the angle of the cabinet. Now, why would you do that? Because they literally they open out, they've got latches on them to keep them from opening. They actually open out on an angle. There are, there are drawers. I mean, why? When I first saw this, I thought maybe it was collapsing. But then I realized it is actually built like that. The drawers actually come out on an angle. I don't get it. If you know why they did this, let me know because I have no clue. So anyway, good size hall bath. It is a full bath. It's got a lovely um, shower here. Got some galvanized plumbing going on, which is pretty much part of the course. So we've got a bathroom here and then we have three bedrooms and all three of these are good size. Again, you got the original hardwoods. 
not terrible. Got some shutters here, got a closet here. And on the other side of this is the foyer and that's a closet there. What I would do is I would knock that out. I would open this room up all the way back to there and then make that the closet because there's already a closet on the other side, right? When you come through the foyer, why do we need that space eating up all of this room? So I would do a little closet there. I would open this room up another two or three feet right there. Just thinking out loud. All right, it's going down again. Hardwoods look great. Okay, same way with this. When you walk into this bedroom, here's this wall and you have to take a turn. All right, here's the weird part. That is just a giant closet all the way across there. I mean, it literally juts out, what, four feet? This would go away if it was me, okay? I would do just a closet there in the corner, open all of this up, reclaim all of this space. You would have to patch the floor some, although I think the hardwoods are on the other side. So, yeah, I don't understand why they did things like that back in the day. But that would all go away, open this room up tremendously. A lot of potential in this house. The bones are great. I mean, I see a lot of old houses that are uh, what we in the business call food poles. Uh, but this is not one of those. This is in pretty good shape. So, okay, so let's take a look at this room. This is the master right now. Uh, not a bad size. It's not huge. Not by today's master bath requirements. Uh, but with my plan to turn uh, the other room into a master suite, this is okay. What we would do here is turn this into a, an in-law suite with a bathroom. Because it does have a double closet. And it does have a small bathroom. So, little toilet. Again, the wonky, wonky vanity. Look at that. I don't, I don't get it. As my grandson Archer would say, I don't know. <laughs> There's a, a tile shower. So, what we're doing here, uh, you know, replace the toilet, do a small vanity. Uh, we would use this. We would just refinish or paint this. And it would be good to go. So just clean this up a little bit and you've got a pretty nice uh, little bathroom. Now it's not big enough to be a master. So again, what we would do is we would turn this into like a mother-in-law suite, you know, maybe take out some of this double closet, maybe do some reconfiguring, I don't know. Um, you know, we could always take that out and use that space in the bathroom and put a closet somewhere else. So. You know, like I said, this is one of those houses that has really great bones. And so we have the opportunity to do different things. We have different options that we could do um, in this house. We could repurpose rooms. We could add. We can take away whatever. Uh, but again, if we do this, uh, if we turn this into a master suite, and it's large enough to do you know, a master suite with another room if you wanted to. But uh, right now this house is a three bedroom, two bath, which is really not appealing. It's a great rental size, but for Airbnb, we want to make it a little bigger. So think about this. If we repurpose the little den there into a small bedroom, and then we turn this into a master suite with a bathroom, suddenly our little three bedroom, two bath house is a five bedroom, three bath house. Hmm. Makes perfect sense to me. Uh, I want to take you outside and show you the outside of this house because it's uh, it's a great lot. It is a cul-de-sac lot. I think it's probably close to an acre. And uh, what we'll do is we'll start up front and work our way around. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I hang out with my grandson a lot. All right, so nice older neighborhood. South Huntsville, again, on a great lot. This is on a cul-de-sac. So the property lines, you can probably see it goes right between those properties. Outside is in pretty good shape. The roof looks good. Uh, the brick looks great. If I was gonna do this, I'd probably paint the brick, uh, replace those shutters. Uh, the yard is good. I would get rid of all this mess. I would take that ramp out. I would tear all of this out and just turn it into uh, into a yard 
and that would be really pretty. It needs a little bit of cleanup, but it's really not in terrible condition. I like the, uh, the railings, the iron post railings. I would replace these shutters. Now, again, this used to be the garage where they've extended the driveway this way, and they built a double carport. So I would leave this. I would just kind of spruce it up. I would fix the, uh, the rotting wood, sweating like a lady in church. Um, take all of this out, use this as a carport, and then I would also repurpose this area. Okay, they've kind of got it all closed off. Think about it this, you can do a couple of things. You could either use it as a carport, zoom, zoom. This would have to be uh, dealt with. Um, or what I would do is I would get all of this cleaned up and use this as an outdoor space. You know, if it didn't have all of this mess here, you could leave those columns, just open that up, have a hot tub, barbecue grill, of course, spruce it up a little bit. Uh, would be a great outdoor space uh, coming out of, this is what uh, the utility room master bedroom would be. That is coming out of the add-on sun porch. So again, lots of options with this. We are on a great lot, needs a lot of cleanup. Uh, property lines again run almost to where those trees are. Actually the other side of those trees. And you can see the property line, the ditch here goes all the way back to that corner there is the uh, lot line. Now, what I would do if I was going to do it, of course, I'd clean all of this mess up. This gentleman must have been a project guy because there's a lot of unfinished projects around. Clean all this up, clean it out, use this as a carport. You could even enclose this if you wanted to, make it a garage. Uh, I would clean all of this up. I would get rid of that ugly ass thing. Um, this shed is really huge and it was built on site, so it's in really good condition. So you could leave that. I would take it out because it's like in the middle of the yard almost, and I would want a yard. Let's go back this way. So you can see it from, uh, from this side. Get rid of that. Keep it, I don't know, get rid of that maybe. Like I said, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, this, of course, would go away. But again, the lot line goes all the way back to that corner there, which is kind of cool. So I've got a lot of stuff in here. This will all go away at some point. And again, like I said, when I first looked at this house, a uh, bit of a hoarder house, it was jam-packed. So just the, uh, the fact that the gentleman got it cleaned out like he did is really pretty good. So. All right, so again, just do a little bit of cleanup back here, but it has so much potential. I mean, just this, look at this. If this was all cleaned up and sodded, you'd have yard all the way back to there, almost an acre. So anyway, man, it's getting hot. So that's it. What would you do if you were um, going to remodel this house? You know, there you, you could buy this house to... To just remodel and live in uh, you could if you're one of an investor someone like me you could buy it to flip uh, maybe short or long-term rental uh, the investor that I have in mind will probably turn it into an Airbnb but uh, what would you do what changes would you make would you repurpose those rooms would you keep the den would you create the master ensuite or the master suite uh, what would you do let me know in the comments below I've always uh, I'm always interested in what you have to say and uh, just let me know. So that's it. That's this video. Let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, on to do video number two at the next flip house.